this week's lab on polygraph testing and electroencephalography will be combined with the um, with the lab on the um, uh, ethnobotany and the um, pharmacology. Let's go over the important terms here first. Luckily, there's a lot fewer than in the in the pharmacology lab. <clears throat> Our first term is electroencephalogram, the EEG. That's a recording of the overall electric activity that's happening in the in the brain. Uh, it gives information about the state of consciousness, so mainly sleep, um, whether you're asleep, wakefulness, how alert you are, and um, <clears throat> basically an, just an overall activity of the brain activity. Arousal, that's a term that refers to the wakefulness of your brain. And uh, selective attention, uh, that is, I guess, something we all um, have experienced because uh, we don't necessarily pay, pay attention to everything. It's um, sort of a selection that your brain is taking and what it pays attention to. Now, here are the basic brain waves as we see them. So we're starting out with alpha waves. Alpha waves are seen, <coughs> they are... Um, relatively low frequency and low amplitude waves. Um, they are seen in a person that is awake but not really paying attention. So somebody that's kind of daydreaming, somebody that's tuned out, somebody that's sitting in a class is completely bored and uh, kind of tuned out, may or may not be having their eyes open but not really paying attention. Beta waves have much higher frequency. They're not necessarily higher in amplitude, but they have higher frequency. And that's a brain that is alert, that's paying attention, that's processing information, and um, very active. Delta waves, D for deep sleep. Um, delta waves have high ampli amplitude and low frequency. Those are large waves and um, they are indicative of somebody being in a deep sleep state. Data waves, um, there's a bit of controversy about them. Um, they are mostly associated with somebody um, daydreaming, maybe imaginary, just imagining things. It's kind of an active uh, brain wave, but it's not really, um, not, not the same as beta waves and not the same as alpha waves either. So theta waves are more um, Im imagining things, uh, imagery of things. Uh, some In some books you'll find that it's associated with um, sort of an altered state of mind. Maybe somebody that's going through some Hallucinogen, hallucinogenic effects of maybe a drug or some sort of substance that they've been using. So it's kind of um, hallucinating, altered state of mind, um, but pretty active kind of mind. Um, the uh, gamma waves, those are waves that are ultra high in frequency and are associated with a very active mind and brain that's processing information. The alpha block or desynchronization is when beta waves start to interfere with the alpha rhythm. Um, somebody that's going through that is stimulated by different kinds of stimuli from the environment and the two main waves, the alpha and beta waves, they start to interfere with each other. Now the next term is really important, the autonomic nervous system. We'll go over that in lecture pretty extensively too. The autonomic nervous system regulates um, all these body functions that you are not under control of. So your heart rate, your breathing rate, um, um, all your hormone levels, your body temperature, blood pressure, those kind of things. You really don't want to be in, in control of that. It just would be bothersome to think about, I mean, what's my blood glucose level and how do I need to adjust that? So the autonomic nervous system takes care of uh, many processes that you really don't want to be aware of. Uh, the autonomic nervous system is subdivided into two parts, the parasympathetic nervous system and the sympathetic nervous system with the parasympathetic side mostly referred to as the rest and digest side. 
So it's most active um, at rest when you're digesting or uh, there's nothing else going on. The sympathetic nervous system would be your fight and flight kind of response system. That's when your heart rate increases, your uh, breathing increases, you're responding to something dangerous, something scary. So the default is the parasympathetic side. The sympathetic nervous system would be more your fight and flight response system. Now, when you're taking a polygraph test, a poly means many graph record, and so we're recording many variables. Well, the basic variables that are being recorded in a polygraph would be the respiratory rate, so that would be how many breaths you take per minute, uh, your heart rate, that is how many heartbeats you have per minute, the galvanic skin response is a change in conductivity that is increased when you are sweating. So the presumption is that when somebody's lying, when they're taking a lie detector test, that uh, something will change. They either sweat it or their heart rate increases or the respiratory increases or all three of them. So a polygraph records these many variables and um, some of the variables are listed right here, the breathing rate, the heart rate, and your sweating rate um, as measured by the galvanic skin resistance which um, decreases as you're sweating electrolytes and that increases the electric conductivity. Now for this lab again I don't really have any exercises that I could have you do at home <clears throat> but you could uh, review the videos that I posted on polygraph testing some are actually pretty funny and um, you could also review the videos that I posted for the um, EEG measurement and what that means. Here in your lab manual you have um, a graph showing the different types of brain waves so you should review that and um, kind of try to correlate that with the brain activity that's um, that um, is seen during those when when the brain shows those main uh, types of waves and then um, there isn't really anything that you need to do in particular just try to understand the different brain waves and uh, what they mean So here at the very end of the lab manual pages, you're gonna have one question that you should take, take a look at. Um, define each type of wave in terms of its function as well as whether it occurs when one is awake or asleep. So let's review that real quick. Alpha waves are relatively low amplitude and low frequency. Uh, they're seen when somebody is they're awake, but just barely. Uh, they may or may not have their eyes open. They're kind of drowsy, sleepy. Just picture yourself in a really boring lecture, uh, kind of falling asleep. That's alpha rhythm. Beta rhythm would be if you're sitting in a really exciting lecture, uh, you start thinking about things, you find it interesting, and your brain is processing information. That's beta rhythm that it would show then. Delta rhythm would be seen when you're in deep sleep. Those are high amplitude but low frequency waves and um, they're seen when somebody's deeply asleep. Not I'm not talking about dreaming or anything, just really deeply asleep. Theta rhythms, rhythms they are associated with um, 
somebody imagining something. They have relatively high frequency and amplitude and they are associated with the brain kind of going through some stuff. You may or may not be awake. Um, it could be you're daydreaming, you're imagining things. Uh, that will be data rhythm, the rhythm. So now, <clears throat> just to wrap this up here, uh, there will be on the next lab quiz, there will be some terms. Make sure that you understand the basic brain waves and the terms, the alpha, beta, delta, theta, and gamma waves that are seen in an EEG, what they're associated with. Um, also make sure that you know what a polygraph testing is and take a look at the videos that are posted and then look back at the pharmacology lab, make sure that you review the terms. So the quiz will be composed of uh, four matching questions and uh, you will be given more choices to answer than, um, than are correct. So um, make sure that you review the terms and you can match terms to their correct definitions or um, medications to, um, and pharmaceuticals to their correct definitions or hear the EEG waves to their correct definitions. So uh, be sure to take a look at that. Alrighty, take care.